right, friends, welcome back again to another episode of Tactical Enlightenment. Our YouTube channel is dedicated to showing you battles in Bannerlord and giving you advanced field tactics that you need to win your own battles. Uh, and we're going to continue on with our Weak Army series. Uh, now it's only so weak. We have some Tier 4 guys. Actually, that guy, we'll get rid of that Tier 5 guy. He must have been upgraded by accident. Um, but mostly it's Tier 3 and Tier 2 units in our army here, my main army. You see, I have militia, and there's these guys wearing sheepskins, and those guys are actually the strong troops. Here are actually the weak troops. We've got recruits down here, and the woodsmen and stuff. Like, these are ghetto troops, right? Now, I could upgrade them, but we're not gonna. We don't want to upgrade these guys. We don't want any uh, unfair advantage here, right? We're gonna show you our companion armies, too. This guy's got a lot more troops, simply because I can't stop my companions from upgrading these guys, but there's no tier 5 in any of these armies. Uh, she's got kind of a mix of two and three and four tiered units but a lot of scrubs too highborn youth uh, other people wearing bathrobes and whatnot um all right so you've seen our army now take a look at this fucking army i just scouted this oh. out i was roman looking for armies to fight but i want an elite army to fight look at this fucking army 20 valandian sergeants 82 banner knights 61 pikemen uh, 53 vanguard these are all tier five units 152 sharpshooters right that's their top crossbowmen and then they have uh even more better troops than that look at Vlandian champion i mean they are basically loaded and 82 banner knights right these are the best cavalry in the Vlandian uh, army uh, this represents a major threat not to mention we're outnumbered right so this is going to be an extremely difficult battle and this makes it even worse right i was anticipating this in this area here this is basically the perfect playground for a Valandian army, right? There's nothing to impede them. We don't really have a lot of tactical advantages here. Actually, I can see them way out there. Um, but, you know, the, 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 the trained eye can pick up little advantages on a terrain like this. One of them are these little tiny ridges, right? These little tiny overhanging ridges will benefit us. Uh, so we're going to make this third division a killer unit. When I What I call them a killer unit, basically we're going to set up a distractionary square and have the third division be infantry that then attacks people that are attacking that distractionary square. Uh, so let's see, the sixth. I need a defensive. They're perfect. This guy is going to be a defensive captain. And the first division is going to be defense, defensive infantry. And then I guess, let's see, we'll, use the, we'll have to use the second cavalry also as a defensive unit. Uh, now, I might use them offensively, but this is primarily my strategy here. Uh, third and sixth. Perfect. All right, so we'll have these third and sixth division with archers behind them, kind of at these angles, right, so we can get some flanking fire. And the idea is we want to get the enemy attacking the first and the second, and then attack them with the third and the sixth, right? And the idea basically is using those divisions as your shields, and the third and the sixth is our... Uh, it, the proverbial sword, right? Shield and sword. Uh, this is a distractionary tactic, and it can work uh, if you time it right. All right, so I kind of want to get to that ridge up there. Not to get to the other side of it. I don't want to actually be uphill here. Because they have so many good archers, I want to eliminate wow. their archers from the early stages of battle. Uh, so 800 units. Okay, we should... It's going to be interesting. We're going to try to race there. And, and basically, it's it's like whoever can get to the ridge sooner. But mostly, I want to be able to set up here. I don't actually want to get set... Okay, that might be useful too. I don't actually want to get set up on, on this side of the ridge. Um, or on their side of the ridge. I want to get set up on our side. See this little... Yeah, okay. So this will work for an infantry line. What I want is I want physical features of the terrain to benefit our line. Anything we can find that will slow their... What the fuck's this guy? Get the fuck out of here. They got like a lone scout coming up. Um, I'm going to try not to kill anybody this battle. Sometimes it's irritating with insolent enemy forces like that. Comes one against our 600. Um, so I'm going to set the first infantry in a, in a shield wall over there. This is perfect for the second calf. Right here between these two ridge walls. Anything physically on the landscape that you can use that will help slow down the enemy calf charge here in the open, you want to take advantage of. Now there isn't much, right? It's not like I have a, a river or some kind, something like that. But what I want to do is slow the enemy down and then ideally get their calf to sort of commit to to just pass this ridge this fucking guy get the fuck out of here and then what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna trap them with infantry right we're gonna make thick shield walls and if you've ever tried to run especially if you're moving slowly uh, cavalry through a shield wall it doesn't fucking work right you get you get stalled out if I can do that all of these archers here will now have banner knights and whatnot 
basically penned up for them, right? Not moving very fast, uh, trying to regroup with the rest of their troops, and these archers will be able to waylay them, right? So our waylaying units here are going to be the, let's see, it'll be the, the third and the sixth. The first is going to be out front, just taking some of the brunt of this cav charge. It's kind of inevitable. That second cav over there, that should help reduce a lot of the cav from the flank. Uh, and then we're going to drag the third and the sixth towards me and attack the enemy with the idea that those guys will then create some kind of a traffic jam and hold up all these knights for our archers to shoot. All right, here they come. Fuck, a lot of them are going right through the middle there. All right, we open fire here, and it's going to be a torrent of arrows, right? We have an, our archer heavy army, but they're holding their shields up. All right, so here, perfect. Let's bring the third and the sixth towards me. And watch them tie all these these banner knights up. They like can't move. These guys over here are totally stuck, right? I've got the sixth right behind me. Look at them getting shot off their horses left and right, right? These guys can't move. <laughs> they can't really move, and they're being shot to to death, right? On top of that, of course, the infantry's stabbing them and shit like that. Uh, all right, let's start moving troops back here on our left flank. The enemy's coming over the ridge. Uh, their infantry is going to be a problem, so we just hammered their banner knights. I don't know how many we killed, but there was a lot of death spam there, right? They got <laughs> each one of those guys got six arrows in the back. Uh, they're obviously not dead. I still see them rampaging around, but we dealt them a savage right hand, right? That was a that was a wicked hit. That's the kind of hit that staggers a boxer. All right, so we're moving the sixth back. The second is being moved back, and we're going to square up the first and second, just like I talked about before. The second and the first kind of towards the middle here. Uh, these other units are kiting, right? We're going to kite a lot in this battle. I'm going to start moving the fourth and the fifth back. Okay, their infantry is all over here on the side. They... Oh, that's actually perfect. All right. Here, let's hammer their infantry real quick. See, it's spreading out there. Let's use the third here in a shield wall. I'm dragging the second cav. It's only like 40 guys towards me. Now we're going to charge with the third and hit him from the side with cav. So in come our cavalry. The third division charges. Uh, and at least it's going to deal another savage blow to that infantry coming in there. We kind of pinned him. All right. It's time to get these archers moved back here. Uh, well, actually... Uh, we're actually holding our own here. Uh, I think part of it is because their archers aren't part of the battle. Remember I told you that ridge would allow our archers to, or their archers to be kind of, I can just see them over the crest of the ridge there. Uh, because we're kiting, we're kind of moving away from the sharpshooters on the ridge there, and they're not really dealing major damage to us. We are going to have to pull back here because as they, you know, as a unit in a situation like that, they will continue to move forward. Uh, but I also don't want to just have everybody move back at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to move divisions back here kind of strategically, slowly, um, as we move our archer divisions back. We've still got a nice cav line here, and the third division looks really strong still. Oh, the cat is jumping on my lap again. We've got the traditional interruption. He's making me fumble my commands here. <laughs> Alright, so it's not going to be the best battle I've ever fought, but we still dealt them a savage blow. In fact, they're regrouping all but their infantry, so it's time to wrap this infantry up and maul this too. Look at this. Our first, of, our first and third can charge, and our second is just coming in for the kill here. I think the enemy decided they couldn't get their infantry out, but all the other units pulled back. It looks like their archers pulled back, uh, and it looks like, well, their cav for sure pulled back. Now we just cut down their infantry here. You know, we're attacking them like 100 on 30, and they're all mauled. I don't know if we suffer a single loss there, even though we have scrubs. Okay, yeah, they are regrouping. So they have a huge tranche of regrouped troops. And they have a lot of calves still. They have 85 calves. Uh, okay, so we're hardly through this battle yet. But so far, uh, this is like Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson in the sixth round. It's not going the way Tyson expected. He's got a black eye already. Uh, he expected to be banging his mistress in the hotel room by now, counting his millions, and instead he realizes he has a much harder fight than he thought he was going to have on his hands. We are going to try to set up a very similar formation here. 
I don't know. I don't know if we have enough firepower to hold off another whole wave. A lot of our archers are probably low on ammo. That's why we're on hold fire. And obviously, uh, a lot of our numbers are reduced. We don't have the infantry. A lot of these guys are probably injured. I don't think we've gotten reinforcements yet. Uh, so this this might be a little bit tenuous, but the advantage of the ridge is still present, right? These archers down there cannot be shot at by the enemy until that enemy gets up to the ridge. Well, we're going to deny them that, right? We're not going to just let them march over the ridge and shoot at us. Uh, we're going to make them basically take the ridge by force. And, and when they try to do that, of course, we're going to we're going to try to be counter punching. All right, 85 heavy cav over there. I would imagine they still have a huge amount of sharpshooters. What was it, 140, 100, I think it was 152 sharpshooters in their army? Right, we haven't killed hardly any of their sharpshooters, and that's a major problem, right? These are all tier five crossbowmen. They are nasty, they do a lot of damage. Uh, okay, so they have a small cav division on, on our left flank. I'm not as concerned about that. I can square or shield wall or crossbowmen to deal with that. Uh, but that 85 cav, we're going to have to counter charge that and do the best we can here with our weakened line. And obviously the major threat here are those crossbowmen. But if we can deny them the ridge, um, I don't know, maybe it'll break It'll break down to hand to hand. Look, at you can see their banners coming over the ridge. You know, maybe they're, it'll come down to hand to hand because their crossbowmen won't be able to shoot till they get to the top of the ridge. I also may pull back. I don't think we've gotten reinforcements, and if we haven't, that means we're going to get reinforcements behind us. They'll be significantly behind us, so it actually makes a lot of sense here to pull back. But I do still have two strong infantry lines. That's going to help. That 85 cap is probably going to charge it at the worst time. I mean, they, the enemy does a pretty good job of coordinating of landing and cab charge. Here comes their infantry. You can see you can see all their flight, their pikes. They're actually leading with crossbow. That's fine. Let's light up. Let's open fire here. I think we're gonna get pretty good line of sight on those guys. Oh, they got guys up in here in the trees. They are getting smoked. We have more archers, or at least we have comparable number of archers, and they can't get all their guys to the ridge there, so they are taking a beating. Where's their calf? Oh, here they come. All right, let's square up this side over here to try to protect those guys. Look at this tight mass of troops we have. It slowed down their cav charge. The third and sixth get told to charge. They're sending in infantry now too. It's gonna be a brawl. All right, let's spread these fourth corps out now that the cav wave has passed. Let's get these guys back and kiting. I don't know if our weakened troops can handle uh, that heavy cav in there. All right, we might have to kite here and get the fuck out of Dodge. Sometimes you have to understand when, when you have a disadvantage on the battlefield and, you know, when discretion is a better part of valor. I think this is, yeah, I want to kill these. Uh, I think this is probably a situation we need to pull back. Our archer cores are largely intact. Yeah, we're getting mauled. You can see the death spam. It's turned decidedly green. So we're going to try to get the cav out and one archer or one infantry division. Uh, but we're going to suffer a lot of losses on the retreat here. This is one of those situations where it's better to lose 40 or 50 guys on the retreat than 250 in a Pyrrhic attempt to, to to hold off an enemy that's greater than you. It's The bottom line is they just have better better strength troops there. And I'm still waiting for reinforcements. I, I swear I haven't got reinforcements this battle. Maybe I, maybe I missed it. Maybe you saw it. But I, I don't think I've got reinforcements yet. Okay, this, this ridge, I identified this coming towards this. This is going to be perfect because the enemy does not have line of sight. They will have to come over this next ridge. You see see this ridge here? I like to scout it out sometimes. They physically won't be able to see us once we get our troops over this ridge. Uh, and that will largely take their sharpshooters out of this, uh, this next phase. I mean, not indefinitely, right? They will approach still, uh, but it prevents them from shooting. Someone kill that knight. It prevents them from shooting at us at, at you know, 150 range with their deadly bolts. All right, let's get the infantry and cav tucked right underneath this ridge. Hopefully our archers can mow down these fucking uh, cav that are back here. This bitch going in here with their shield. I mean, we have scrub archers, the bottom line. Like, they're missing a lot of shots, but that that's why it's important to use these cav shield walls because it holds up the enemy. Like, if the enemy's not moving, it's a lot easier to shoot them, right? Scrub troops don't hit moving troops very well. So that these guys are getting slowed down because it kind of bogged down and here too many archers for them to move. 
Uh, but critically, of course, at this stage, they don't have very many cav. We shot the shit out of it in that first wave, or in that second wave. They have plenty of cav still, and some of these are banner knights, but... We've got a nice line here. You know what? Let's use this infantry line in a square. Let's use another distractionary square. And what we're going to do here is we're going to divide our archers. We're going to get angled shots on this uh, infantry that's coming over. It's a big tranche of enemy infantry. So we're going to put these archers at different angles. And then we're going to drag this square. And what that'll do is basically encourage the enemy to chase after the square, trying to maul our protected infantry while our archers are shooting them from multiple angles. You can see their infantry is going ballistic on our square. <laughs> but they're also getting shot. Here, let's get the fourth to charge, too. Some of these people are out of arrows. These sword sisters and whatnot they can help too by charging okay fuck here come their crossbowmen um we can kite oh these are reinforcements this is excellent timing all right let's charge them with cav i'm gonna actually manually drag the cav here we've got an infantry line and you know what folks the enemy fucked themselves here we just killed their infantry these guys have no support at all all right we're charging in with cav in a shield wall i'm, I'm just doing this to direct them i'm not actually going to attack this is like the easiest way to drive your troops and now we're going to charge they're either regrouping or they're there can't be routing. All right, we're just going to charge our cav right through here and move our troops up to the ridge. Get our archers on this ridge so they can shoot them in the back while they retreat. And we're going to do as much damage as we can uh, to this 100 and whatever, 140 sharpshooters before they get back to their mates. I've got a 330 riding skill companion still alive. Maybe that's a little unfair. Uh, but she's trampling people left and right. Of course, I just did 60 damage to somebody, too. Uh, I suppose I shouldn't try to kill too many here. It'll unbalance the, the fight. But we are fighting an army that has, I don't know, what did it have, 300 plus tier 5 and 6 units, and we don't have any? Uh, I think it's okay if I kill a few guys. And all you, you can see what I'm doing here. All I'm doing at this stage is just driving my cap back and forth, trying to inflict maximum charge damage to the enemy. Okay, they just got troops uh, sort of regrouped on the other side there. Our guys get too far here. We're just going to simply drag them back through and trample city here, right? You can see the sharpshooters getting obliterated, getting knocked to the ground. I can knock a few more to the ground here. They have a, they have kind of a small line. That might be it for the enemy. That they, we've given them such a beating here. That might be all the forces they have left. So if we can keep inflicting damage on these sharpshooters and get our troops up to up into line here quickly. I think this battle is over. All right, we're going to stretch our, our third infantry in a nice big line. Let's get the archers set up on the ridge. That's all they have. They have like 60, 70 archers. They've got, a, it looks like a half dozen or a dozen cav. And then they have these hundred or so sharpshooters. But we're harassing the fuck out of these guys. It actually said, what was that, 199? Can't be 199, can it? Look at Al, Al Chila. She just killed like seven guys. <laughs> they must have all been weakened. She just trampled the fuck out of them. Just like me, she does 30 damage, right? So, you know, once you get to 330 riding skill, you become just an absolute destruction, destructive force on the battlefield. All right, so our archers are lined up. They're shooting. Our infantry is going to be charging. I sent the cav to the other side because I want to effectively hammer an anvil. Uh, the timing's not going to be right, but I'm just going to drive this cav right the fuck through the enemy here. They're all packed up, kind of panicking, and they are getting shot to fucking pieces. This fucking battle is over. <laughs> we can send the infantry in here just so they can have some fun, so these guys can gain some levels, but the enemy is fucked here. Our archers have a beautiful ridge to shoot on. They're trying to spread out so we can drive my cab. I guess I can drive my cab through here as well. We'll spread our archer out, archers out as well. But this is... We fucking devastated this very powerful Vlandian force. Still killing guys. I'm, I'm jumping and killing them. Killed three guys just by running through there. These guys are routing. I'm gonna kick a few of these guys back into battle here, you fucking insolent cowards. You guys attacked us with your mighty army. Come and fight. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have told them come and fight. Now they wanna fight. Yeah, this it doesn't matter. These peasants here. Yeah. 
you guys can all get shot to pieces. I hear him dying behind me. <laughs> all right. So another example here. I, I, one of these we're going to lose. I thought this would be the one, honestly, when I, when I saw the strength of the army, uh, not only did they outnumber us, but they had something like 300 uh, high end or elite troops. I'll have to look at the, the death spam here. Of course, Al Chila, uh, she's got 330 riding skills. She's, you know, she's like a level 35 companion. Obviously, she did major damage. Uh, but the companions overall, it looks like they killed about 100, maybe 120. Again, just like the previous battle, that means our troops, these, these mediocre and low-level troops, killed some 800 enemy forces, right? These highborn warrior uh, militia veteran archers got a bunch of kills. Look at 43 more kills for the uh, militia archers. Uh, the skirmishers, they racked up some kills. You know, it, the oh, trucks got 18 kills and didn't suffer a single loss. The foresters ripped it. Uh, it's just another example where we you, we did not have elite troops and we tackled a very high level high level army. Uh, some kiting, obviously. You know, I know the dynamics well with with heavy cav. How to sort of pin them and trap them with infantry. Um, I probably need to do an episode, an overhead episode, to display that a little better. Uh, if you, if your timing is right and you know how to use shield wall troops, you can effectively pen up the enemy cab for your archers to fucking unload on. Uh, and that was definitely successful. It'd be interesting watching that. Uh, I, I like to watch afterwards just to see what I did right or wrong. And let's see what we killed here. We killed... Where are the Banner Knights? There's only five there. I thought we killed like... Eight, didn't we kill 80 Banner Knights? And there was, I thought there was 150 sharpshooters. Where are they? Okay, here are the Banner Knights. Okay, so this guy, he lost 33 Banner Knights. His Banner Knights got three kills and lost 33. So what an ignominious failure. His sharpshooters got decimated, of course. This guy's Banner Knights got decimated. They lost 35. Uh, so another mauling here by our, our bunch of scrub armies. A right? little bit of tactics. Uh, a little bit of use of the terrain. Look at this. All these guys, again, would have upgraded. If you're curious, uh, what I'm going to start doing, I think, is just reloading these and not uh, basically pretending like the battle didn't happen. So, Because I, I can't honestly even find low-level troops in our kingdom anymore. We're, we keep upgrading them all. And I want to I show how many guys would have upgraded, right, had they had not gained levels in these battles. Um, so we're going to... I'm probably just going to reload this game and, and look for another challenge, right? I guess... 900 uh, Valandians with, with 300 and whatever 80 elite troops wasn't enough. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna carry on with this series. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys are gleaning some insights. Hopefully guys that are already really good are still gaining some benefit or at least being fucking entertained, <laughs> right? Uh, I appreciate all you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you guys next time.